Hey guys, Oki Sanchez and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Lost Ark and Burnout and actually using your rested so that you don't burn yourself out playing all your alts every single day and just making Lost Ark feel like a chore. So let's talk a little bit about Burnout. With Lost Ark you do need to manage your alts and to send all the materials over to your main. It does take a lot of honing to get your main up. And when you start tapping on your main and you start getting those fails, you really, really start to feel like, you know, this is this is working on your nerves, it's burning you out. But just keep in mind that all of us go through this at some point. And every time you fail a hone, it is progress towards the um, artisan's energy. So you're never actually losing progress. You're always gaining something when you play and when you hone. It might feel not feel that way sometimes, but... Just think of it that way. Every time you fail a hone, you're one step closer to that 100% artisan's energy on it. It does feel bad when you pity a weapon, but at least you were making progress all the time. Some more get more lucky than others, but eventually we all get to the same point. So just keep at it and don't burn out. Play it how you want to play it. And just remember you're always progressing. Anyway, let's hop straight into it. So how rested works every day is when you run a chaos dungeon on your ult. If you don't run a chaos dungeon, you get 10 rested per run you don't do. So potentially you can get 20 rested per day on an alt. Let me show you guys if you're in the chaos dungeons. We go over to chaos and the rested bar is at the top. As you see there, I have half a bar on this. So yesterday I only ran one chaos dungeon on this alt because that's all I felt like doing. And then today I have actually got 10 rested. Now that rest bonus won't get consumed because it can only consume once you have a full bar. So to get a full bar, you have to not run any chaos dungeons on that alt. So today, if I don't run anything tomorrow, I'll actually get 20 points. I'll technically have 30 points and I'll have one bar and a half. But then when I run a Chaos Dungeon tomorrow, it will consume one whole bar. So 20 points, I'll go back down to 10. But then I will get a little bit increased loot in that Chaos Dungeon. I think it's about two thirds of the normal loot that you get in a Chaos Dungeon if you do it without rested. So you don't get double the loot, but you do get quite a little bit more. And also don't forget about your stronghold. You can actually have your stronghold run your guardian raids on your alts. So what I like to do with my 1340s and sometimes on my 1370s, if I just don't feel like doing Nightbox Simulator, I actually send my stronghold ships out to go and do them. But on my mains, I try and keep my like my 1415 and my main, I try and do those. If you're over 1415 and you can do Desk just go do Desk It's nice and quick and it does give you a good amount of materials and relic accessories, which can sell for thousands of gold depending on your luck. And I just wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Lillian for helping me out figure out the race bonus that it is 20 per day. So depending on the runs that you do, you miss, you get 10 points per day. So obviously you can get a maximum of 20 points that will be on the Guardian or the Chaos, depending on whatever you don't do. One run is 10 points and obviously you need 20 points to get more loot the next time you do it. So one day, complete day will give you one extra one bonus. And yeah, so it'll take you five days to build up a complete bar of no bonus. And then once you do hit five, go and do them just so that you're not wasting this because what you do then, so if you haven't done any Guardians of Chaos for five days, this builds up for five days. And then on that day, you go and do two runs, right? So you'll burn through two bars and then that's another two days that you don't have to do anything. Like for example, let me show you guys all my alts. I have six, seven, I have eight alts over here and then I have three over on another server on a different roster. And I just don't feel like playing them all every single day because it's quite a chore. I try to do my highest alts every single day. So my main, I'll try and do every single day. My Chaos, my Guardian, my main. And then anything above 1370. So I have four characters above 1370. I will run, try and run the, their Chaos and their Guardians every day. But anything under that, like my 1340, 25, 1300. And then I still have my Pelly and T2 working its way up slowly but surely. I... Sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. You see that one has one rested. That one's got a little bit over there. And my War Dancer, I think, has quite a bit. My Pele, I've actually been trying to play recently to try and get it up. So I run my Chaos Dungeons on it every day. But yeah, just play to your own pace. Don't burn out. Rested is there for you to use so that you don't burn out on your alts. And also, when you are playing your alts, I have made a video about this before. Just uh, make sure that you do build them up a little bit. Try and get some good stats. I know my stats on my... Lavia aren't the perfect ones. That uh, crit over there I wanted to put into swiftness or spec. I just couldn't find the pieces on the market. And you want to try and get two to three engravings. Just, you know, work on your alts a little bit so they actually feel nice to play and it's not a chore when you actually hop on to do like your rears and all that stuff. And then that's another thing you can do every week is all the gold stuff that you can do. Uh, you can do Argos, you do your Abyssal Dungeons. And then depending on how high your alts are, if you have some Legion Raid alts, my bad, I just got to 1415 this week. I can actually go do Volton with it. 
and that's nice and fun to run just stuff depends on how you play the game how you enjoy it just don't feel like you have to run your chaos and everything every single day i don't and i have actually managed to get my main to 1460 i've been 1460 before vikas came out i think i had it just before like a week before she came out so that is completely free to play with all these alts i just bought these two slots over here but no materials or anything like that so it's totally possible playing at your own pace you don't have to have any of that FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. You don't have to worry about that. You have to do your cast every single day. I don't do it every single day. I just don't have enough time to do it every single day. And it's just not fun to do it every single day. Some days I feel like doing it and I go and do it. But if you don't feel like it, use Rested. It's there for a reason to help you from burning out. And then just, you know, because Lost Ark is a marathon. It's not a race. Like, it's going to take a long time to get where you're going. Nice, slow and steady burn always work. There's so many other ways you can work on your account. Like, you don't have to worry about your item level all the time. You can do collectibles. Just press Alt-L and you see this whole list of here. I need to work on it myself. I've made so many videos talking about all the different ways of doing all these things. But I just haven't found the time to actually go and do them. Making all content and then trying to keep up with everything else I'm doing. But uh, yeah, just take your time. Go do Island Souls. Anything else. Any of this linear progression at all helps you towards making your account stronger and your character stronger for the future content and eventually later on down the line we'll get more honing buff so that there's a flat honing buff across the board like it'll just make honing a little bit easier for t3 for everything your alts your main everything a big honing buff flat across the board there's going to be more raids so there'll be more materials there'll be more gold so there'll be more there'll be the abyssal trials there'll be so much more coming that we'll just have so many more other things to do so if you are starting to burn out right now running your chaos and your garden every single day on your alts, just stop, let it build up, rest it, run it at your own pace. Don't burn out, there's so much good stuff coming for Lost Ark and I can't wait to cover it all because I really enjoy this game. But you do just have to take it at your own pace and don't burn out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and a subscribe on this video and the channel. It really helps me out so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. August and out. Run free and dive into the sky. Here I go.